Hi, I'm Fabian, Fast Suspension Founder. Today I want to show you how to service your SC5 cartridge. Here we go! Step 1 is to use um, the Soft Jaws. It's a 22.5mm has a Fox grip cartridge. Um, I use a plastic bag just to avoid any damage on the top cap. A 27 millimeter socket. Unscrew it. And put it out. That one is empty right now and we will see uh, the bleed procedure at the end of the video. Step 2. Upside down the cartridge. Use the soft jaws again. And we use a, a Knipex uh, plier because it's a 23 mm hexagonal and untie it like this and put it out the rebound dumping side Um, first step is to change the seals inside the seal head. You just have to slide it and out. Use a, you could use a flat screwdriver, a small one, but the best is to use a, a pick tool. And take the new one. We use ultra slick grease from RSP. Grease it. And the way is very important because there is a flight surface and a lip. It should be installed like this the lip to the inside. It's not the easiest. Uh, now the U capsule is in place. Grease it a bit for the next step. Step two is to remove the piston support from the shaft. 10 millimeter soft jaws like this. You don't need to remove the uh, rebound piston because to avoid any trouble like uh, missing shims or stuff like that. Just like now it's a 11 millimeter spanner. Unscrew it. it is. You have two O-rings on the rebound needle. Take the two new O-ring with grease. Slide the first one on the groove, the second one uh, 
apply grease on O-rings. Then reinstall the rebound needle inside the shaft with a 2.5 Allen key. You could screw and uh, unscrew the rebound needle. So unscrew it. Back to the jaws and reinstall the piston and rebound unit. Uh, we use one drop of blue Loctite, just like that. Don't use too much because it's not necessary and for the next uh, service it will be a, a bit painful. Here it is. Now we have to reinstall the seal head on the main shaft. We use a, a bullet tool. Just check if everything is on the right position. So it slides gently. The rebound side is now okay. We could reinstall it. On the cartridge. One drop of blue Loctite also. Okay, now the rebound side is okay. Let's go on the compression side. I use my 27 millimeter socket on the jaws, my plastic bag, and a 14 millimeter spanner remove compression unit slide the IFP piston check the spring if it's bent or not Grease a bit the shaft and now we have to change the o-ring inside and outside on the IFP apply grease on the o-ring, reinstall it inside its groove, grease the outside o-ring, job done. Now reinstall the IFP with a step first, like this. The second o-ring is just like a bumper. And again a drop of blue Loctite. Reinstall the compression unit or the compression piston unit and tight. 
check if the IFP is moving on the right way and without any problem and go for the bleed process back again with the jaws 22.5 millimeter <coughs> One detail also, I have a jaws here, but you could use a 24 mm spanner right now, here, just to hold the cartridge tube when you want to tie the head or the seal head. For uh, cartridges like RockShox, Spike, Lyric, Fox 36, Fox 38, the oil quantity is 80 millimeters, milliliters, sorry. And for the RockShox Zeb, it's 90 milliliters. We use RSP oil, it's a five. It means 26 CST at 40 degrees. And there we go. In our case, it's a Zeb. So let's go for 90. Fill the cartridge tube with the oil. Move up and down the rod. Um, just to simplify a bit the insertion of the compression unit, I do something like that just to dip the compression unit inside the oil, slide it gently, open the low speed adjuster. and then tight, tight the top cap on the cartridge. Now, check the function. Push a bit the shaft, the rebound shaft or the shaft up and down. You could hear the IFP. And Close the compression low speed by hand and you feel the difference. It's a lot firmer. And in that way you bleed all the air pocket underneath uh, the main piston. Reopen it. Check it again. and ready to be installed inside the fork. Before um, reinstalling the cartridge inside the fork, you have to be careful with the rebound adjuster. <coughs> we have a bolt and inside we have the driver, the rebound driver. So remove the C-clip and remove the ribbon driver. It's a stainless steel part <coughs> with two ball spring to make some to make the click noise. So you have to remove it before reinstalling the cartridge.